Hi you guys, it's Debbie from My Vagabond Style. Welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I'd have a little play in my journal that basically, I think almost all of these collages have been done with the Shannon Green method of journaling by fives. And I did a video and I named it how to create a collage easy step-by-step -step process. So basically I took each step and kind of broke it down for you to see and I created these two collages. So in this book that I that I have, I, I work in it like, um, basically I'll go through and like if I have some extra paint, this was extra gesso, I just kind of smear it on. Um, and then sometimes I'll go through and if I'm, I'm feeling like it, I'll put like some stencil down and then I'll put some other, uh, they're not focal images, but they're like, uh, a mixed media salad. They're like little pieces of paper that I've used scraps from other things. And so I'll randomly put some down. Here's a map, you know, something like that. And then the next step would be to put in a focal image. And I try to do these when I do this particular collage book, I try to do things very quickly, um, like not think about it so much. And so I have a ton of images here that have all been fussy cut out. And I know that it looks like a lot of, of work, but this has been, you know, like I do this all the time. So if I don't use something for one of my collages, it goes in, in this bin. And then, or I file it away by um, images sometimes, like um, I would put this in an animal file. And um, then when I wanna use something like to do these um, journaling by fives, I will go ahead and just throw it all in here and then uh, have it kind of to the side here. And I try to spend, I would say no more than 30 to 45 seconds deciding what I want and getting it down on the page. Now, when I get it down on the page here, I only put just a little bit of glue stick on here. I don't like make sure all the edges are down or, you know, I, I pretty much just slap it on and move on. I, I would think maybe it's not even 45 seconds, but um, that's the fun of it. You just don't think like none of it makes any sense, but when you get done, it's kind of like, I feel like it's a foolproof method to do this. Like anybody can collage like this. I'm serious. If you don't have stencils, take some cardstock and punch some holes in it like get a hole punch and punch holes in it find things around the house that like lids of things that you can use to um, make circles you'd be surprised how much stuff you have in the house and as far as images go I, a lot of times I just ask my neighbors hey do you have any extra magazines now there's people that just save them for me and you know give me whatever it is that they they save and sometimes they're really good ones like I get tons of Architectural Digest and Natural Geographic. Did I say natural? <laughs> National Geographic. So anyway, I'm just going to have a little play in this today. And we're just going to speed along and throw some stuff down. And not all of them will be masterpieces, believe me. We'll go through a few of them when we're done. But anyway, so I'm just going to get started. And that's all I do. I've marked several of the pages that I have ready to go. Like this one's ready to go. This one, this one is too, actually. I do have some little bits of paper on there. I was thinking that one wasn't. But um, we'll do, you know, quite a few and then see what happens. So I just marked them with the little piece of paper so that I would know which ones to start with. But, um, okay, ready, set, go, right? Uh, let's see. I want to put in this one. kind of want her just because we've got this party girl over here. Uh, I'll put her here and then maybe I could put something else down. Yeah, let's put her here. And I'm just going to do one quick swipe of the uh, glue stick move on. I, I try to get maybe one or two images on here and that's it. She's like Cinderella. The clock is ticking. 
and she's her she's kind of flying there but we'll come back that's the very end I go back and I glue them all the way down it's just I don't want to waste the time gluing stuff down right now that is a great chicken isn't it I love that chicken uh, I don't know which side that's the thing because I know I'm going to come back and put something else but I can't overthink it it's not fair for me to tell you that and then overthink it so we're just going to put that down then we're going to have this guy over here maybe serenading the chicken right sorry i don't have enough room to put my glue book page there you know so for so you to see for you to see okay i'm just going to do one image right now i can always come back and else do we have here I have so many in there just kind of crammed together I like her I like her a lot I'll put her right there and let's see all oh, these cigars are good Yeah, I'll put them here. I don't know. I've got one long. I'm overthinking it. No. Let's put maybe this TV here. We can put somebody else in there. Maybe if I can find someone. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing here. Oh, look, here's a retro girl right here. Put her behind her fabulous TV. And that's really about all the thinking I do. Sometimes there's not even anything. That's the you know first one I've done where I actually coordinated them, really. Okay, so this one, how much time am I spending? Too much? Oh, look how cute they are. I, I don't think that color goes good though. Maybe we'll put that one right there. So the idea is just to get your creative juices going and um, not to overthink. I've got something there, we'll move on. Maybe these guys here. I just love that the goats have their like tongues sticking out. Okay. What else do we have? One more right here. So this one is a statue, but um, there's a, a chestal region right there. So I don't didn't know how YouTube would feel about that. So I just kind of blocked it out. I thought it was beautiful but you know okay what else do we have you guys let's do a person maybe her she's fabulous okay I don't think we spent too much time on any of these pages So this is pretty much a jumping off point. I've got things down on some pages and now what I'll do is I'll go back and go through these pages, add more images, put some, uh, maybe some Posca pin on it, um, you know, doodle a little bit, maybe put some words on the top if I want it and just kind of work on it. This is just a way to get you going so that you can come back to it later on when you 
find more images or you think you see something that you might think, hey, that might go good with that image of the goats or, you know, whatever. So anyway, um, that's kind of the process that I like to do for this particular journal. I'm going to go ahead and end this for now, and then I'll come back with a part two when I find a few more images that I might want to add to these pages and kind of finish it out a little bit. So I hope you enjoyed today. And thank you so much for watching and coming back. I appreciate you guys. And I will see you soon. Bye.